What's up everybody and welcome back to our Trans Ocean the Shipping Company Let's Play series. Last episode we started moving our ships towards South America here so that way we can take care of this uh, contract to St. Petersburg of all of this nice coffee that we are going to be needing. So we have all that. We have three ships out of there. As you can see we've got the Alabama, the Mersk, and then the uh, Explorer. So that is good. We have the Solo sitting over here in Fremantle. Which I don't even remember where it was going, which is not good at all. So we're going to have to check that out. But this episode here, guys, we are going to try and knock out all of this. Uh, all the coffee here. Probably not the smartest idea having all three of these ships in this area, but it'll be fine. I mean, they're essentially going to go from here back up to here. Uh, the Explorer being the, one, the only one that will probably be able to go all the way from here to St. Petersburg. Versus the other two will have to make a stop probably in uh, Africa here or... They be back in Lisbon, which is one of my favorite ports, if you guys you guys all know that by now. But uh, the other, so we're going to do that this episode. And then the other thing we're going to do is get a subsidiary here in America. So that way we can become a tycoon. So wait, we won't be a tycoon though. So we're, it's on our way towards becoming a tycoon. Remember, we also have to finish out this contract. And uh, we got to establish our subsidiary. So let's check out what the uh, solo is up to here. And uh, she's actually getting fixed up here. I wonder what she's getting added to her. But we have to go to New York. So I'm not really seeing anything there. So that'll be good. So let's go back to the world port. You are fine. Our other ships are slowly moving around. You can see them moving. We'll uh, speed up the time a little bit. And the Mersk is ready to dock in Lima. And I'm not sure if we've been to Lima yet. But we do need uh, some goods there. So let's... Uh, Let's go in manually, just to be on the safe side, because I really don't remember if we docked here or not before. I think we have, though. I think we've been on the uh, on the west side of uh, the South America. So that'll be good, though. We are in Peru. It is a greater than 50 world port. So, not bad. And actually, this is the first time in Lima. So, not too shabby. We don't really have too much cargo here. It's kind of a white load for us, so probably not very lucrative. I don't remember what we are calling here. And let's just keep going and going and going and let's see if we can see where we're can't really tell where we're going to be docked at. What's that in the water, though? What is that in the water? Last episode, I thought we saw, like, a whale. Um, with the, maybe the solo. Yeah, we were in... We saw a whale last time in Australia there. I don't know what this is here. Maybe just a sign or something? I can't zoom in anymore to even get an idea of what that is. No idea. No clue. Maybe it's just a glitch. It almost looks like a glitch in the, in the game. It's weird. And our buddy over here is waiting for us. He's probably going to honk. Like, come on, man. Get going. Do something got all this room all that room and you're gonna sit there and wait I really hope they fix the AI in this game though for the, the second one my goal is to uh, beat this one just as the second game is coming out um, don't know if that's gonna be possible we might finish this one sooner um, but ideally what I'd like to try and do is get it so where we are finishing this one just as the second one comes out the second one might not be coming out till like April or May so that's kind of a ways away. And I want to keep doing like two episodes a week of this. Just because there is a lot going on. And, you know, we only do half an hour episodes at a time. It just creates a... You know, you try and get a lot done, but there's so much to do, you really don't get a lot done in a half an hour's time. So that's why we'll have to uh, keep things going. But don't worry, if you guys watch my other series, we're still doing those. We're not giving up on them. Uh, we'll actually be finishing up Construction Machine Simulator uh, next week. So that'll be that'll be it for that series, actually. So that'll be good, then we can move on to something different. I haven't decided what yet. So for a while here, we might just be sticking with, with a small lineup of games. Um, but... Coming out in the next month or two are, are some new games that I want to maybe start into, get you guys to 
guys' thoughts on them, you know, something you guys want to see or not. I haven't fully decided yet. We'll see when the, when the games come out. You know, I'll play them for a bit myself just to see what I think about them. And I feel like it's something that I want to do for you guys. And I'll obviously start doing that. So that's it. We're here in Lima. And, oh, she like Oh, we took radioactive materials. Nice. Uh, the Mersk is fully upgraded, which is nice. Um, or at least I should say she has all the contracts. Oh, she does not have the all the contracts. Well, anyhow, we need to get a uh, coffee, and they need to fix all of this stuff too. Like I can't, like I don't even know what happened there. But so let's go down coffee for St. Petersburg. Remember, we need a hundred tons of it, so we're gonna take both of those. Let's see if there's anything. I mean, there's nothing going back on the way up. So what we're gonna have to do is somehow get. We're gonna have to accept these, and we're gonna have to make stops for. Uh, so this is the one we're in Lima, right? So Lima should be taken care of. So we shouldn't need to worry about Lima. So I'll just get cross that off on my little cheat sheet. Let's uh, let's fully fuel up, even though it's really expensive. Um, it's not really smart, but we're we're, we're doing good. We need to somehow not enough fuel. What if we go at half power? We can get up to Dakar. Which would be nice. Um, I guess we could go to like Georgia ports and whatnot. How much did we get? Like, Descartes is going to take 23 days versus 19. We're going to have to do it in 23. We'll make up for it going from Descartes back over. We'll see if we can pick up some cargo in Descartes for Lisbon. And then we'll, we'll take them there. So let's cast them off. Get them out of here. We do not need them anymore. Uh, let's let the 15th run through. And okay, it's that's done. Um, let's check on the soul. I feel like... Oh. Oh, still being worked on. Uh, we are going to New York, though. Still nothing for New York. So that's kind of disappointing. And uh, we have the Alabama is ready to dock in Balboa. Um, we also have to go down to... We don't have to go to San Antonio, so that's good. Um, did anybody stop at Havana? Where's Havana? We need to get back up to Havana. I wonder... Yeah, we should have... You know what we should We should have had the... We'll have the Alabama go to, El to Havana and then over, I think is what we'll do. And then we'll let uh, the Explorer deal with Santos, Buenos Aires, and then uh, it should be good then. Yeah, we should be good then. I like it. Let's, uh, let's duck. We've actually been to, uh, we've actually been into Balboa, but we'll, we'll, so we'll just go tug assistance. We've actually been to Balboa, so... No reason to uh, show you guys that. We'll try and get get this a little bit faster going here. So let's take up St. Petersburg Coffee. Remember, we only need 100 tons of this, so we're actually pulling in a lot with these. And there's nothing going to Havana. Mm, you know what? We want room for Havana, don't we? So we don't want to take that one. We'll take the 400, though, and uh, that should be good. So that's what we'll do. We'll accept that. And then we'll uh, stop up at Havana on our way back. And it's not really uh, that cheap here. So we're actually just going to... Uh, I don't even think we need to fuel up, to be honest, to go to Havana. And we actually can't go to Havana because we need cargo to go there. Ugh, so that's not good. We need... What are we going to do about that? That's the situation. Because we have not been to Havana. Let's check what improvements we could do on the ship here. And the Alabama actually has all of them. Let's do a full license on her. Um, for two days. And then let's just see what, uh, what's going on here. I mean, yeah, our docking fees are only 15.3. So it's definitely not expensive for us at all. So it's not good. Yeah, like how big that is. How funny is that? That was huge. That was huge rating. All right, the eye vision is ready to rock and roll. Let's check, make sure there's no other contracts. Ooh, we could go, uh, I was going to say Metro Vancouver, we could do, but we're going to New York. And, uh, yeah. Ugh, we can't take any of this, it's just too heavy. That's sad that we can't make another stop somewhere. Let's check, uh, fuel prices are in, they're decent. I don't know, let's, let's go to the world map here and see... Um, what we have, Durban's here, Cape Town, 
Mombasa, Lagos. If we could go to like Lagos and Dakar, it would be nice. Or, you know, like somewhere around here, and then I can ship up this way. But I'm not seeing it at all. So that's kind of disappointing. So let's, uh, what other things? I mean, we could do more. <laughs> we could do another improvement. You know, we could get, uh, get, get more range. Let's do that. Let's, let's get the interior wall padding for one. And then let's add the uh, contract here for for that. That's going to add four days to this. So that should be good. And then that way, I just want something more lucrative for her. So that way she's not new contracts available. So let's go into Balboa Bal 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 here. I was going to say Bambasa. And we still have nothing for Havana. So that is just not good at all. Ooh, but we do have stuff for Lisbon. I'm going to have to just take it. We'll, we'll have to send another ship to Havana. So we're going to have to keep that on the uh, the watch list, I guess is what we will call that. So let's accept this to there. And let's, uh, let's fully fuel up. Well, let's cast. Let's go to the cast off screen. Not enough fuel. We need 1,255 tons. And, oh yeah, so we'd have to fully fuel up. That's what we're going to have to do there. I have to fully fuel up, and yeah. So once she's ready there, we will cast her off. Look at that nice load, though. She's ready. All right, and the Alabama is ready to cast off. Look at how nice and loaded she is, though. That's nice. I like that. So let's cast her off and get her out of here, and she is set up for, for there. It's a shame we can't go to Havana, though. Like, ugh. That is a shame. But it is what it is. So, automatic, get her out of here. See you later. So, that is Balboa, though. Should be taken care of then as well. So, that's good. We're just waiting on the ships to get here. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And there we are. We got new contracts. And the Explorers are dead dock and Buenos Aires, which we've actually been to. And let's check out the contracts. So, let's see if there's anything. Nothing for Havana. God, we're like nothing on that way, that whole way. Um, we could go to Jeddah and take uh, machinery. I think that would be another. I mean, that's another idea of what we could do. We could go to Jeddah, take the machinery, and then from Jeddah, go to New York. Let's do that. So let's go up that way instead. Um, and that'll be good. Hopefully the Solo will be able to get some stuff in New York for Havana. That's what I'm hoping. So she should be ready soon. And let's dock the, uh, got 200,000. I'm fine with 200,000 for now. 11 million. That was a nice journey. I like that. Let's see. Oh, you still have cargo on here, mister? Where are you headed to? Uh, Cape Town. So she's headed to Cape Town. Um, we're also going to, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to take the coffee to St. Petersburg. We're going to load up on her. And can we go up to Dakar? Nope, we need some space. Uh, is that enough space for them for Dakar? No, nope, that is nuts. Hmm. Because we really don't need all of this. You know, like, I'd like to go. Ugh, just don't have the room. Screw it. That's what we're going to do. We'll just fully load up on coffee then. And then hopefully then there will be something in Descartes that we can take. Or once we're in Cape Town that we can take. So let's take the coffee. That's a lot of coffee. A lot more than they need. But we're going to take it. And then we will head out to... Man, it feels so expensive around here. But let's head up to uh, Cape Town then. Get her ready. Look at that. Nice. I like that. That's a loaded ship. Cast off screen, and to Cape Town we go. Now it looks like we've been to Cape Town as well, so that'll be that'll be nice. Um, we're gonna go there in full power. That gives us a day. I'm fine with that. All right, the solo looks like she is ready to go. There are new contracts, but nothing nothing going where I need to. So let's 
get her casted off. And uh, to load her up on fuel. And she is headed to Jeddah. So Jeddah is where we are going. It's going to take 12 days. So that will be good. And you can see all our nice ships here moving around. We are going to buy a new ship here too as well. Um, at some point here. So that'll be good. And look at that. The Explorer is ready to dock in Cape Town. So let's, uh, let's dock her manually. As this will be the first time in Cape Town. And that's exciting. Exciting times. This is probably going to be a little bit longer of an episode, guys. Probably around half an hour. Also, just, uh, just to give you guys a heads up there. I really do need to get something to Havana, though. Oh, uh, you know where else we need to go is Santos. I totally forgot about Santos. Uh, we need to see if we can get something to Santos from the uh, from this ship here. Uh, and her... And she's getting down there too on uh, on condition. We're gonna have to figure that out as well. Not really sure where I'm headed here. It's can't see. It's so foggy. Look at that thing. That's kind of cool. Whatever this is, another ship over here. What's Mahonk? Let them know we're coming. Uh, is it different, like in shipping? Like, is it supposed to be that if you're like you're supposed to be on the left side versus on the right? driving I guess I, I guess you should say if you're in America obviously you drive on the right side of the road versus like in Europe and whatnot you drive on the left side of the road so is that like the same way then for for boats like you drive on the left side I don't know why this guy stopped either like what are you doing man he is really loaded though it would be cooler if the publishers or developers didn't make it so every ship was fully loaded like, make it a little bit more realistic, like, what we've got going on here at times. I mean, I get that, like, you try and, as a captain, you try and get, or even as a company, it's not really up to the captain, but as a company, you try and get, um, you know, your ship fully loaded, because it's more lucrative that way. And what the f is going on here for this dock? What is this? Well, this is just crazy, huh? should be good though we should be fine I like how jittery it is too here it's like really really jittery let's start our turn though now this is gonna be something this is gonna be something holy cow we'll stop we'll stop oh yeah I saw that coming oh I saw that coming let's uh get out of the way man so I can see what I've got going on here yeah she's scraping she's scraping let's turn her Let's turn her. A. We're gonna crash it. We're gonna crash it. I just feel it. Uh. This was not a smart choice to dock this one by myself. Oh, uh, final warning. Yeah, no, yeah, he didn't like that. That was a fail. That was a fail. We'll do it next time, guys. I'll, I'll get her again. That was not fun at all. That sucked. That really took care of some damage for us, huh? We have to get this coffee up. When's this got to be done? 529. Um, and it's what? Is it 3-1 or 1-3? I think it's 1-3. Um, let's check finances. Finances will tell me what month it is. Oops, that's not the button I wanted. Finances, here we go. So for March. Okay, so it's March right now. So. February. We, see, we're making money. We're going up, making money, which is good. Um, so we've got a couple months yet, which is okay. Let's see if there's anything. We need to go to Santos. Anything to Santos. Anything. Uh, it's just not good. Let's, uh, we could stop at Lisbon. On the way back up, you like stow with radioactive materials. That's nice. So I think we got to do it. That's such a lucrative contract. We'll figure out something to get out back down to South America. I can't pass up on this, on that. I can't pass up on that one bit. And holy cow, fuel is so expensive here. Let's fuel up that much and see what she does. 
Um, we will do, we will get her fixed though at some point, guys. I, I promise. We'll get her fixed up. Let's cast off to Felix Stu. There she is. We're going at full power. We can get there in 14 days. So that's good. You can see all our nice ships now are headed back up to our home port area. Not to our home port, but up into that area there. And uh, the Solo is ready to dock in Jetta. And we've already been there, so we'll just let it go. And Salala. Lala. Oh, and nothing towards... New York or back to Santos. That sucks. It's really hoping for something. Ooh, feels nice and cheap here. Let's get it and uh, let's get out of here. We don't have time to be wasting here. Um, we're at 90% on uh, our ship status for the solo, so that's decent, I guess. Not gonna complain. You can see the Mersk here is uh, in Dakar, so let's dock her. Um, fuel is very cheap in Dakar as well. So that's good. Um, still nothing here for goods. Let's. It's not cheap in Dakar. Not cheap in Dakar. <laughs> Definitely not. I don't even know. Um, let's cast off. Let's see. We need 512. Um, so 512. 580. Oh, we could do it. Well, let's check out. I mean, it pretty much has everything. So, I can improve the maximum speed by two knots. That's awesome. Um, you know, I'm just, we can increase its minimum range, which would definitely help as well. I think let's just do it. Let's increase its minimum range, um, and then we'll see if we can get something to, like, Lisbon would be nice and we do have new contracts so let's definitely check them out and nothing nothing for Lisbon so disappointing obviously yeah most all right we've got ships that are ready to dock Alabama's ready to dock in Lisbon so let's let it dock it grabbed its core which is good and whoop We've got our coffee to St. Petersburg. There's nothing else. We could go to Felix Stowe. Um, we're missing the system, though, huh? We need refrigeration. Yeah, we don't have refrigeration. And it's really not that lucrative, so... Yeah, let's just go St. Petersburg. Let's get this, up, get this taken care of. Not enough fuel, obviously. Not enough fuel, because that's why we made our stop. St. Petersburg on its way. See you later. What else do we got going on? The Mersk is ready to cast off. Let's just check. There's nothing. Oh, they do have something to Lisbon. Questionable goods. Let's do it. Let's do it. I don't care. We'll, I'll, I'll risk it. We'll risk it here. Let's get just enough fuel to uh, to get up there. I think 170 should be good. We'll... Uh, Let's take a look here. What we need? Not enough fuel. Is that Lisbon? That is Lisbon. What we need? Oh, we're short by two of that. We're short by totally less than two tons of fuel. That's hilarious. Let's uh, let's get us some fuel then, huh? Let's get two oh six. There we go. There we go. We'll have thirty two tons left then. That'll be beautiful. Now we can go in full power, but we need nine. We're going to add done just a hair more. Because. That should be good, huh? Oh, yeah. So let's get it out of there. That'll be good for it. I like it. I like it so far. So we're just getting all this stuff here. The Explorer and Felix Stowe. Which we'll just dock. Well, that, that was a nice one. I like that. That was definitely a money maker. It allows us to get another ship as well. So, we will do that. Man, there's nothing going to Havana. Nothing going to Santos. I need those two ports, like, like ASAP. And I can't get anything for either of them. Uh, we'll go to the cast-off screen. Let's check out what fuel is. Holy cow, definitely not. 
just get enough fuel to go to uh, Felix Stowe here. And we'll get there in three days. What if we go like super speed? Still three days. So we'll just go then get it out of here. You can see there's the solo heading around. The month is almost over, which is just crazy. Which is not good. Alright, and that's the first part of our it is a part of our contract. Then for this, as we can see, all hundred tons from Buenos Aires. But Santos and Balboa are the ones that are kicking our butt. And I just don't know what else we could, we could go to Durban. Cologne. Let's go to Cologne with alcohol. I think that'll be a good one. Good one. Um, you know what we're going to do though? Because we're going to wait. Let's just give it three, three days here. We'll do the max three days. We'll wait to see some company contracts. We're not paying a ton in port fees so it'll be fine and uh hopefully we'll be able to figure something out then and all right so we got contracts let's check contracts first and that's halifax man why can't we get anything to havana we got buenos aires again lima i just so wow wow well, well, it's the wrong way though i want to go towards Here's what we could do. We could go to Halifax, then down to Cologne, and that should put us in that area. And maybe there'll be something, something there. That's what that's what we're gonna do. We have to get to Halifax in 30 days. So that's good. We'll, we'll have plenty of time. Plenty of time. And the Mersk is ready to dock in Lisbon, so let's let it dock. And it's smuggled in our questionable goods. Ooh, we could take luxury goods here. Uh, like that and still nothing to where I need to go we're gonna take these uh, luxury goods and we'll be able to sneak them in we'll fully fuel up here 411 it's not as cheap as it was when the uh, Alabama was there but it'll be good let's let it head off to st. Petersburg and then it'll be able to handle that so that's gonna be good there we got more new contracts so we're gonna check them out just to see if there's just anything santos we've got stuff for santos but we don't have the room because i put on other contracts oh man that was stupid of me that was stupid i shouldn't have done that ah dang it that sucks we had our contract for santos but here is the solo ready to dock in new york it was nice that was a good one so it has nothing. And there's nothing here to Santos or Halifax. Or Havana, sorry. So I'm not really sure we could move. I would say we could take furniture to Georgia ports, but that's not even worth it. I just don't know what we could do here. Not really sure. I don't want to take the soul out of this region. I really don't. So let's just go to improving the ship here and uh, let's get it a license for, uh, for that. Or let's, let's increase its speed. Let's do that. Let's increase its speed. I know it's costing us a lot being in New York here, but let's just do it. So let's do that. And uh, let's go to Halifax here and uh, let's establish a subsidiary. To million euros let's do it oh we could do it our shipping company has got a good foothold in the states now aiming for the next rank is, is out of the question you need four ships 30 million euros four company contracts two subsidiaries a respected reputation and you must have sailed to at least 30 different ports a little too much to ask this isn't child's play we hope you didn't think it would be we are now a shipping line boss guys that is just awesome and we can purchase post Panamax ships. So we're shipping line boss at last. Our warmest congratulations, but it's still a long way till you reach Shakun. Shall we get on and look at that? Uh, as a shipping line boss, you can also buy post Panamax ships. By the way, they are called this way because they exceed the size of the old Panama Canal and couldn't pass through. However, the Panama Canal was extended in 2014 so that two larger classes of ships could pass through the post Panamax ships and the new Panamax ships. But you knew this already, didn't you? 
So where were we? Oh yes, the post Max ships. For the next rank of Magnate, we'll need three of them. But let's start nice and easy with just one. Chief, I found something interesting. In three months' time, there will be a shipping exhibition in Georgia ports. If we take one of our ships there and make it look good, that ought to enhance our reputation considerably. To do this, we need a ship in perfect condition, and it should have every possible improvement installed. That will make an awesome impression. Which ship to show off is up to you, but something sometimes it's just a question of size. Uh, that's awesome. So we're going to have to deal with that. We will definitely check on that. So we are now a shipping line boss, guys. And we've still got a lot of work to do, though. You know, uh, Let's check out prices, though. On the ships, I'm just kind of curious of what a post Panamax ship will cost us. And holy cow, 70 million super super speed, super speed. This one's kind of nice. 8,000 tons, 25 knots, and minimum range of 37 days at 88. Oh, I, I gotta take it. 88 million euros, guys. Like. It's not even like a question of why why not so let's buy this as well yes let's buy it and we are going to name this i vision rebel d rebel -da. um it was a name that was put in the comment section so that is what we're going to go with hopefully i said it right the i vision rebel -da. rebel -da, rebel d I'm pronouncing it wrong, definitely. Uh, just smack me around a couple of times and tell me how to pronounce it correctly. So let's christen this ship. And we've got our post Panamax ship. Um, we need three of them. And uh, so that's going to be a lot of work. We have to sail to 50 different ports. Wow. I just feel like this just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Now that you are fit, you need to start expanding to Asia, some of the most important Asiatic nodes are the container ports of Shanghai, Hong Kong, and Busan. So I'll select one of these ports and set up a subsidiary. Wow. As soon as the subsidiary has been established, you'll need to demonstrate how capable your shipping company is. But worry about that when we get there. For now, another big contract has just come in. I bet you couldn't wait, right? Totally. What do we have to do for Miss with Smith this time? This big contract is all about getting a new airport built in Newark. They need 580 tons of metal, 320. Tons of plastic, 208 tons of timber, 50 tons of electric onyx, 50 tons of furniture, 50 tons of textiles, 150 tons of food stamps, 80 tons of coffee, and 300 tons of machinery. And you have to do it in five months. You've still got some feeder ships in your fleet, haven't you? Nuke is, as you surely know, a small port, too small for other types of ships. And we do have some feeders. So, that is it for this episode, guys. A lot has happened. We've become a shipping line boss. We've Bought a new post Panamax ship. We still got to get this coffee contract dealt with. And now we've got this super huge contract. I'm going to have to put every ship on basically to get us done because we've only got four ships, five ships now, right? Five, four. We've got the Solo, the Explorer, we've got the Merce, the Alabama, and the Rebel. Rebel I'll figure out a name I want to call it eventually here. So we do have five ships, which is awesome, but we still have a lot more to do. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Have a great day.